Shamai, episode five of Show Us Your Ukes. So it's been a little while, but here's episode five. I finally had time to edit it. Um, another five awesome collections from all over the world. Um, if you want to have your ukulele collection or just ukulele featured, have a look in the description below because there's a video that explains everything. It's very simple. And in fact, now is a good time because I've only got two ukulele collections waiting for the next episode. Voice is a bit croaky, so apologies for that. But sit back, relax and enjoy episode five of Show Us Your Ukes. So first up, episode five, we've got Paul living in Thailand. He's actually originally from Oxford in England. And what a diverse and interesting collection of instruments. So first up, we look at another couple of banjolelis, his Kamis concert banjolele and a Kiwi tenor banjolele. And we can now see the back of them. We can actually see their open backed instruments. I bet they make quite a sound. So we've got a snail concert ukulele, a Ohana tenor ukulele, and then the Bat King baritone ukulele with that really interesting wood. So three normal ukuleles there, a couple of bass ukuleles now, the Hadine solid body electric, and then that Harley Benton Kahuna, which is his favorite ukulele at the minute. And you'll notice they are both left-handed. Not ukes, but still really fascinating. A nice stag mandolin, a Japanese sanshin, and a tanglewood five-string banjo. Some dulcimers next. A mountain or a lap dulcimer, the Thai fin, which was converted to a dulcimer, and a stick dulcimer. Really interesting looking instruments there. Look at the design on the back of that. Fabulous. Now, Paul also makes ukuleles. These have all been made by him now. Some really interesting geometric shapes. And I'm really enjoying the Rojo B name he puts on them. Paul basically buys in the necks, fingerboards and hardware, but makes the bodies himself. And he's been making these for the last three or four years, including tin can ukuleles, that middle one actually looks quite like a cigar box. And then a nice biscuit tin ukulele. There we can actually see the backs of them. Again, I bet they make a fantastic sound with all that metal acoustic. And some more geometrics. And the middle one, the triangle, is Paul's favourite homemade ukulele. Really, really nice to see there. So that's Paul's collection. As I said, really interesting and diverse. And don't forget to check out Rojobi Music on YouTube. Thank you, Paul, for showing us your ukes. Bit closer to home now, we've got Travis from England. And in fact, quite close to me because he's from Bristol. And Travis started playing around about 2016. He's actually a pianist, but wanted something a bit more portable. So we're looking at his Fender Fullerton Jazz Master, which is an electroacoustic concert ukulele. And I gotta say, wow, what a looker. I'm loving that scratch plate and white. Another electroacoustic, this time a Tanglewood TR. It's a tenor size. And again, I'm really enjoying the wood grain on that. What a really nice looking ukulele. Oh, wow, a Mahola Flying V, a soprano size. And Travis had this for his birthday this year, his 24th birthday. He doesn't use it for recordings, but it's a fun looking instrument. A Vorsen solid body electric tenor ukulele this time and I think this belonged to Travis's dad originally. Travis really enjoys playing jazz and funk and he likes to break conventions of what's typically played on an instrument. 
here's a nice Barnes and Mullins bass ukulele and I did spot at the beginning a couple of bass guitars in the collection there. This one's called Stanley, named after Stanley Clark, who Travis was very lucky to see live. And then Jacko, his fretless bass ukulele by Aklot in that beautiful dark wood. And again, he absolutely loves playing Jacob Astorius, things like Teen Town and Portrait of Tracy. So there's Travis's really, really nice looking ukulele collection. And I've got to say, I am loving the setup with his studio. Thanks, Travis, for showing us your ukes. Manchester, England to see Clive's bass ukuleles. Now, he's only got two, but that doesn't matter. That's the whole point of show us your ukes. Whether you've got one or a hundred, send them in. There's Clive playing a recent gig with his band and it's so nice to see live music happening again. Clive's Muzu five string solid body electric bass ukulele it's actually very similar to my pinky muzu and there's clive again it's really nice to see the five string and i think he's changed the strings to a quila because he thought they sounded much better another bass ukulele i know very well this time the bat king fretless bass ukulele and i've got to say i love not just playing this bass, but the look of it. That plain fretless fingerboard really does make it look a stunner along with the F holes. We could see Clive playing with his band and he's got rather a nice setup. There's his Phil Jones suitcase 100 watt bass amp. And I can tell you now it's a lovely sounding bass amp. And I spy a little bare faced cab in the back there. So that's Clive's setup for when he's gigging. Really, really nice to see a couple of bass ukuleles, both of which I know very well. Thank you, Clive, for showing us your ukes. So this is Peter from British Columbia in Canada with his ukuleles. And in fact, they are all hand built by himself and wow some really really nice and interesting looking ukuleles there so first up is actually his favorite it's an aspevi or cashew all solid concert ukulele then we've got he made the actual laminate himself for this concert ukulele there on the right with that really nice fretboard Another very decorative fingerboard there, the Sitka spruce top with a figured maple back and sides and a Louis Cube veneer. I'll talk a bit more about that one in a minute. It's again a concert ukulele. And then we've got the Sitka spruce top with mahogany back and sides and then we can see his home built ukulele mold. That's what he's actually using to make his ukes. Now Peter claims he doesn't have UAS but in fact UB Yes, and he started making them after taking a friend to a ukulele festival and she could play and sing but he couldn't do either so decided to make ukuleles. I said I'd say more, 600 pieces all individually cut on that Louis veneer. What a lovely looking set of ukuleles, all concert size but all very individual. Thank you Peter for showing us your ukes. And then last but not least, we've got Jeanette and George's ukulele collection and they're from Liverpool in England. And wow, what a colourful looking collection, really nicely displayed on the wall. This is Jeanette's favourite ukulele, it's a Tanglewood TR. We saw the same model, in fact, with Travis earlier and I am loving the colour of that. And we can see it there again on the left, the full uke. On the right, we've got the Fazley Rainbow Concert Ukulele, and I love those coloured strings put on there as well. So colourful and bright to see. I did say I liked the display on the wall. 
We are now seeing the Epiphone Les Paul, which is an electroacoustic, a Camise Spruce and Ebony Tenor, a Maui Green Soprano Uke and a Vintage Concert Ukulele. All really diverse instruments. Wow! Look at the back, that Antoniatsai, I hope I said that right, the detail of that. And a Tanglewood TR, another one, but in Hawaiian Rainwood. I love the name of that wood. And then we've got George's Freshman Ash Tenor, electric acoustic, and a couple of his guitars. George has played guitar, but they both started playing ukulele back in 2019, so I'm very impressed with their collection so far. Some newer ukuleles that haven't made onto the wall, and a Nui Nui Luna Coral, and a Bat King Baritone. Jeanette's on the left and George on the right. And their latest purchase, the Ortigo Electric Acoustic, and it's a baritone with that really nice Harley Benton. And you can just see the tortoise shell edging on the pick on the right. Both Jeanette and George play in their group, Ukulele Buddies, which are now gigging again, so they're very happy. You can check them out on YouTube on their Ukulele Buddies. I am loving this collection. It's so bright and cheerful and so well displayed. Thank you, Jeanette and George, for showing us your ukes. As always, I am loving editing these videos because I get to see all of these fantastic instruments. Thank you ever so much to everybody who has sent them in so far, and especially you five today. I was particularly enjoying the hand-built ukuleles. Um, I tend to do these in order, so I never really know what's going to come up. Um, and it was interesting to see three models of the TR Tanglewood ukulele today, and of course, some really nice bass ukuleles and some other interesting instruments too. So I hope you enjoy that as much as me. Please, if you want to see your ukuleles featured, send in the pics and the info. As always though, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.